So there are ways to mess with code, even when they are physically spent. Like, I think, I don't know if I did this on an ETD or, or it wasn't around your class, but I had them move their entire room outside and reconstruct it to the exact measurements <laughs> of the dimensions of their room. I mean, why are like, you doing this? That's 100% my class. Like, why are you saying this? To me? And we had to do it and we had to do it out in those, the old abandoned dorms. It was out in the thing. Uh, and your boy, I think he's out now, so I'll say his name, but Alec also oh. had us mark also had us marching. So he get like, we, we got out on, <laughs> I, I, it wasn't on ETD, but he was screwing with us. He was like, all right, go outside. And he started calling like straight up air force cadence, marching oh things. Gosh. And we were like, we were mid, I mean, we were like knee deep in indoc, right? So none of us had any idea how to march. Like we're like, you know, we, we know how to run in formation, but that was it. He got so mad. And then that's where the set your rooms up. Exactly. And then if you remember, you did room inspections, you walk down the fake hallway and you would knock on the fake door and come into our perfectly set up room. In a parking and lot or something, it was yeah. in the grass out behind the dorm and you had to move your entire dorm room out there. Like you couldn't hang anything up, but you're like, listen, if it can get moved out of this room, move all of your stuff. People are setting their beds up, like making their beds out front. And it, the, the absolute <laughs> Stockholm syndrome that we had, no kidding. I remember as a, as a grown man looking at somebody's bed and being like, Hey, Fix that corner. Are you yeah. joking? Be a professional. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on, man. We're gonna get smoked for this. Yeah, that's that was definitely a Kilbride carryover from when when I was at Cohen. I'm pretty sure he made us do that, but uh, it was magnifique. I'll, I'll tell you, like, yep. well done, but, Jeff's kid. But for the for the folks that are listening, though, like, if you look at this, you've got three dudes on here, two two PJs and a controller that have gone through Indoc, have gone through like crazy times, just just in the pipeline, not even operationally, just through the pipeline that you would think like, okay, that's hazing or they've taken it too far. The instructor shouldn't have done that. We're sitting here laughing about it, reminiscing Some about it. Best memories. So, exactly. Hilarious moments, best memories, and you're still in the suck because, and it's that shared experience that we all have that ties us all together, which going right back to your point, AT, you know, when we, when we did the, the PJ CCT split, um, and, and PJs didn't know what, what controllers were going through during their pipeline, and controllers didn't know what PJs were going through during their pipeline. There was definitely a we, – we were lacking that shared experience. We were still close, but we weren't, we weren't where we were. So that, like, that's why I'm really happy that we've gone, we've gone back and come back Absolutely, together now. Man. Absolutely, you know, and I mean, I'm not knee-deep in it like you guys, but you just hearing what's going on at A&S and guys coming back together, I think it's awesome, you know, we're – SW is going and, you know, everybody's together again. It's, it's, it's not this like, Oh, who's that guy? You know, Oh, he hasn't, you know, hasn't proven himself yet. You know what you're, yeah. the dude's done and you've got some, you know, understanding. 